everyone if you don't know me yet my name is Ingrida and welcome to my channel happy new year guys this is a brand new year a brand new start I really hope you had a great party so I thought why not to create a video to help you out and share some beauty tips and tricks that I know to revitalize your face a little bit if that's a right time to say that I don't know but anyways so I thought I'm gonna share some beauty tips and tricks uh, the ones that I use quite a lot actually and I find that it helpful so eventually I came up with this makeup look by the way as well by telling you makeup trips and tricks just a daytime simple look so I think without any further ado let's just jump into the actual beauty tips and tricks video let's watch all right let's do this guys as I look pretty bad at the moment so the most important thing is to hydrate guys i'm pretty sure you know this already but you might be forgetting it as much as your body needs some water your skin needs some water too so have a glass of water cheers another really really important rule is clean off your makeup before you go to bed no matter how tired you are or you know if you've been partying all night long i'm sure you just want to go into your bed and sleep but girl keep your makeup remover wipes next to your bed so you can't have any excuses the laziest thing just keep it you know in your bedside table then you can just clean up your makeup while you're still in a bed your skin will thank you for that another important thing as i mentioned is to keep hydrated and that includes your skin too so make sure to apply plenty of a moisturizer when you wake up and if you don't have too much time to wait for your moisturizer to actually soak in into your skin because you need at least 10 15 minutes for it actually to go in and start working so a great tip is to blow dry your face yes <laughs> I mean on a cool setting your if you don't know your blow dryer has a cool setting it's a special button for that so you can just blow dry your face and make the moisturizer dry quicker so absorb to your skin faster than it normally would do okay another great thing if you have a puffy eyes or if you had a long night and you woke up with your face being puffed up especially if you have hooded eyes like me like my eyes today is super puffed a great tip is to begin the way you sleep so if you put two pillows and you sleep a little bit higher on your back it would help to reduce the puffiness of your eyes because of the blood circulation in your face because you're gonna be a little bit higher gravity you know <laughs> another great tip i shared this in my previous makeup tips and tricks video is to apply the ice cube or just a frozen spoon onto your face so what i did i put spoon into a freezer for 10 minutes prior i do my makeup and just keep it on my eyes to deep puff now check out both eyes obviously it's red now because of a cold spoon but check out the hood on my eye this looks like this just lifted up another great tip is to put a raw potato onto your eyes you know on the puffed eyes and keep for around 10-15 minutes as that sucks in that puffiness it works like some kind of antioxidant so what you can do you can just slice a potato or you can grate it and then in that juice soak in the cotton balls and just put on your eyes whichever way you prefer so the raw potato trick helps decrease the water retention and it helps with a dark under eyes as well it brightens the under eye area so it's a double power so just remove the potato slices and i feel like my old face is lifted and it looks bright as well okay another great thing is to upcycle recycle upcycle your mascara bands i mentioned this trick before in my beauty tips video why i do this obviously wash it off before you use it so this is great to keep as your eyebrow spoolie as your you know lash spoolie like to brush it and it's like another great thing for it is to actually scrub your lips what you would need to do just use a vaseline like you know ordinary vaseline put a bit on your lips and then just scrub your lips and you will see the result in like a second i mean look at this already so the blood and circulation in my lips already start pumping that brings the color into my lips and uh, it gets like optically bigger so another great thing to exfoliate your lips and a period 
bigger and like more with a color in it rather than tired and gray is to exfoliate them with a lip scrub i actually create one by myself i mean i diy this i'll link this in here so you guys can check it out i did this video before and what i do i just take a tiny bit and rub on my lips or if you prefer you can just use a new like clean tube brush to exfoliate your lips as well by adding vaseline on your lips and just buffing that that will work as well because by doing that the blood circulation will start working like faster in your lips and that will bring a color in and the puffiness in your lips obviously so another great tip is if you don't really have time in the morning to go to a shower and wash your hair and dry it as it takes time is to use a dry shampoo and it actually works the best if you do that before you go to bed and you know your hair gonna be greasy next morning because by doing that the dry shampoo will actually absorb all the excess oil so just spray your roots with a dry shampoo uh, without you know blending it in without massaging it in don't know how to call it and leave it for a morning and then in the morning brush it through and you see your hair will look flawless but if you forgot to do that before sleep although this trick works so good honestly <laughs> but if you forgot to do that before sleep i would say do this before you will start doing your makeup and beauty regime so what i do now i'm just gonna put my hair back into the bun without um, blending the dry shampoo in as you see it's like lighter marks as i wanted to absorb the excess oil from my roots so i'm just gonna put back into the bun my hair and by the time we're gonna be done with our face the hair should look refreshed as i mentioned it's really really important to hydrate to drink water and to use a moisturizer prior applying makeup and you need to wait for it to soak it in and actually absorb it so don't jump in with the foundation straight on if you feel like you don't really need a heavy coverage and your skin looks flawless enough i would recommend to go with a bb cream but i feel like i want a full coverage so i am going with that foundation so the foundation is on and all the redness disappears and it looks kind of okay but loads of us forget that our face is three-dimensional and applying one color on it makes it look flat as a pancake and that's why you need to contour so you can use a powder contour you can use a cream contour whatever you prefer i would strongly recommend to do that as that would just lift up your face and try not to go with too light color use a tone or two tones lighter than your foundation would be for the highlighting can you see how this part got lifted already don't forget to add some on your eyelids as well as this not only gonna create a base for your eyeshadow but it's gonna brighten your eye area as well so for the contour, I'm gonna use a cream contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can use any cream contour kit you have, but what I would strongly recommend is to go for rather the grayish undertone for your cheekbones because that looks more flattering rather than a brown brown plus you're gonna apply later blush that would warm up your face. So I'm gonna go for a color called Fawn, this one in here. Another important thing is don't forget to set your makeup in place so a light dusting of powder would do and don't forget your eyelids okay let's jump in with the eyebrow so i'm gonna use the benefit goof proof brow pencil and just gonna lightly fill in my brows so the eyebrows are done and to keep them in place another great tip that i shared with you before guys is to spray this pool with the hairspray there you go and brows will be in place all day long now all right let's move on with the eye makeup i would strongly recommend and i feel like that works the best uh, to lift up your eyes a bit and brighten them up is to use the kind of beige orangey brownish shadow just a little bit on the outer corners in a c-shape and then blend to the middle as that works the best with all the eye colors and that instantly lifts the eyes up so this is what i'm gonna do now and i'm gonna use a makeup revolution flawless free resurrection palette so as my transition color i would go with this one in here and go slightly bit higher than my creases so keep my eyes open so i see exactly where my eyes crease so I'll keep it slightly bit higher so my eye already instantly looks like it's lifted another thing we do we're gonna take this warm orangey color but as you can see i really like and go on the outer corners of the eyes in the c-shape and drag the color slightly bit to the middle of the lid so 
So another thing I'm doing, I'm just gonna take this light beige color in here and go on my mobile lip closer to the inner corner and drag to the middle. Don't forget your lower lash line. So I'm gonna do the same, I'll go with this orangey color on my lower lash line very lightly and blend the color out. So this will make eye to appear a little bit bigger. So the eyeshadow is on. So to make your eyes pop a little bit more, I would strongly recommend to brighten the inner eye corner. So for that, I'm gonna use this color in here. And a little bit under my brow arch, just lift the brows up. So by highlighting the inner corner of the eye, you really make your eyes pop and look it more like awake. Another thing that I really like, if you don't like applying eyeliner, you don't have time for it, is to line very, very close to your lash line, basically like in between the lashes with a black liner. Or if you don't have a black liner or you run out of it, just take the mascara that you use and the liner brush and go with that in between your lashes. So just take a tiny bit of a brush, of mascara brush, on the liner brush and go between your lashes. If you are not pro and you have sensitive eyes, I would recommend lifting your lid a little bit so you see where you're going. And to keep another hand stable, like on a table or on your knee or... So as you can see, instantly my lashes look fuller and my eye looks lifted if you compare these two eyes. So if you feel like, and if you have time for this, I would strongly recommend to add a bit of a liner. If you don't have any liner by hand or you just finish it, use a mascara and the liner brush to draw the line. So the great tip, especially if you have a hooded eyes, when applying the liner is to keep your hand to begin with stable. So keep it in 90 degrees on the table or with another hand and then keep your eyes wide open. I mean, don't do this, but keep your eyes open like you would normally do so just watch straight rather than close your eyes at first it might be tricky but trust me this works the best so start with drawing the flick first and then add up the line so the eyeliner is on and to lift your eyes even more great thing is to use the eyelash curler and to keep your lashes curled all day I would recommend to warm the eyelash curler with a lighter or with a hairdryer make sure to wait a second for it to cool down don't go straight on your eyes because you just burn your lids and another great tip while curling lashes to rotate this up as that will curl your lash even more look at the difference between these two eyes now this already looks so much more lift up than this one. So next thing I'm gonna do to make my eyes appear even brighter and more awake, I'm gonna use the nude or you can use white if you want to, but I would recommend to go with a nude eyeliner on your waterline. Now look at the difference between these two eyes. This looks bigger and brighter already. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a bit of mascara on my top lashes and lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna use this by Tarte. So great tip when applying the mascara is to start from the bottom of the lashes. I mean the part where it's close to the lash line and then blend into the tips. So if you like me have a short lashes and if you like you would want it to look a little bit longer and fuller but you don't really have time to apply the falses, I would recommend to get the magnetic eyelashes I did the actual video review and how to, so I'm gonna link this in here. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump in and apply these on as I really like those. All right, so let's contour a little bit face more and add a little bit warmness and definition. So I'm gonna use a best to do that. So for the lips, I will go for a natural nude looking lips. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna line my lips with an e.l.f. liner in color natural. So when lining the lips, I'm, I'm lining on that kind of invisible line that goes just after the lips to make it look a little bit bigger. And for the lipstick, I'm actually gonna use a lip gloss as this reflects the light of the lips and makes it look fuller and bigger. So I'm gonna use one by Tarte, a glossy lip paint, Tarteist and Kohl's. 
and we're done so now we just need to brush our hair because the dry shampoo sucked in all the excess oil as you can see so i'm just gonna brush through my hair straighten a little bit up and i'll be back and this is the finished look so i just straighten up my hair as you've seen before i let the dry shampoo to sit on my roots and i haven't blended that in or anything because it just soaked up all the excess oil and my hair looks quite fresh now and yeah i really really hope you find this video helpful if so don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and leave a comment down below and let me know if you know any other useful makeup tips and tricks or you tried any of these and you find it helpful and yeah i can't wait to share more videos with you guys and i'll see you very very soon so thank you so much for watching and bye ciao Thank <laughs> you.